Ho, 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 and welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. It's a YouTuber watch reviewer's rite of passage to showcase their watch collection at the end of the year. And that's what we're going to do today. It's a fun video, and it's going to show the accumulation of watches that the channel has accumulated throughout the year, whether it was gifted to the channel, uh, whether it was purchased, whatever the case might be. Um, we're going to show that all to you today. If you're not even subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and also please click that like button. That is the most charitable way to help support the channel. Also, speaking of fun, if you haven't checked out It's a Wonderful Life Average Joe, really pays homage to It's a Wonderful Life starring Jimmy Stewart. Um, you'll definitely get some laughs and uh, you know, you'll get to see Average Joe poke some fun at himself. Everybody had a good time, and um, I just hope you guys enjoy it. So, with no further ado, let's just dive into the State of the Watch collection. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's just, just jump right on in. Um, first one I'm going to start off with is the Tissot Seastar that I just got. I got an early Christmas present. This is the 2.0, and you guys are going to see this real soon on the channel. Look at this beauty. Powermatic 80. And speaking of Powermatics, this is the Tissot Lilac Powermatic 80. This is actually a beautiful gift from my beautiful wife. Uh, she gave this to me a couple years back. Surprised me. Rose gold, leather strap. Got the, the pliant clasp and uh, just a great watch. And then I have one more Tissot to show you, which is this one here. This is your entry level V8. Uh, great piece. It's got some gold accents. 19 jewels Swiss made um, this is actually the crown that you actually wind backwards um, so this is the Swiss Matic so check this out this is a fixed bezel it doesn't pretend to be a diver and um, comes on this nice leather strap kind of like a rally style strap and um, just a really nicely done watch a couple hundred bucks gets you into a Swiss made piece so um, definitely a nice piece now, I'm going to skip over my Seikos. If you guys want to take a look at my Seiko collection, I'm going to put that card up above. You definitely can check that out. I go into a lot more detail in that State of the Watch collection series. Now, <clears throat> here we have two about vintage pieces, okay? So we have the, uh, this is the Vintage Diver. This is the At-Sea, 19, 1926 At-Sea. You can see that, um, triangular pattern there um, very very nicely done um, some good bezel action unfortunately this uh, pip didn't line up um, they did offer to uh, send me a replacement but I mean I, I it doesn't bother me um, and then this one actually had average Joe watch reviews etched in the back established 2018 beautiful shark mesh bracelet and um, yeah it's just a nice piece this one here is another one from About Vintage. Um, very minimalistic. This is the 1820 Automatic. Didn't have anything etched this time, but you can also etch anything that you want in your pieces for a, um, I think it's a minimal charge, if not for free. I, th I think it's free, actually, uh, but don't quote me on that. Here's another watch I received from a micro brand. Uh, just recently did a review. This is the Tuseno, uh First 38. This is a 38 millimeter. This is a Mecha Quartz, beautiful movement, shark mesh bracelet, and um, it's just a really, really vibrant blue watch. It's that uh, reverse panda look, and um, very classic size. Now, as you all know, I own the Era Kanji, and I actually was gifted a second. Oops, sorry about that. I was gifted a second Ira Kanji from a fellow watch YouTuber, and this is the black version. So um, this is really, really cool. One of my favorite watches. Um, I still love the purple the best, but um, it's nice to have two versions of it now. Um, can never have enough Ira Kanji in your life. Now I'm going to get to these Casios a little bit later, so I'm going to put that on the side. Next up is the Accutron, the Bulova Accutron Space View. This is from 1962, and this has the rare bow tie lugs, 
Check this out, guys. Waterproof. The last time you're going to see waterproof on any watch, this was in the night, like around the 1962 time. And in order to set the watch, you simply stick your fingernail under here, and that will then move your handset. Check that out, huh? And then to change the battery, you get yourself, uh, I believe, a penny or a dime, and you stick that in there, you twist that off, the battery pops out, and you put a new one in. Very, very simple, but this one here, you can see the two mechanisms up here. They're vibrating so quickly, so quickly that you can't even see it. And it does have that hum that you're, I'm not gonna be able to pick up on a microphone. Um, I wonder if I can do a, an impression. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll have to see how that pans out in a microphone. I might have to cut that out, but whatever. Um, so, we have the Van Banner. This is the one of the best watches I received from a micro brand company in 2021. Beautifully done. I uh, just did a review of that. I'll put the card up above. Uh, definitely check that out. Loom crown, loom bezel, um, reverse uh, numbering here because this is actually a countdown bezel. One of the best bezel actions of any watch in my collection. Really nicely done, no back play really nicely done um hate to go out of order here but here's actually another mas watch um this is actually i call it the uh the grandpa of the irakanji because this one here is just very very classic um this is the um this is the uh rose the um jbc rose which is actually named after the grandfather of the owner matthew um, it's got the cool leather strap, got the rose gold accents and rose gold case, and just a very classic looking piece. Next up, I have one of my favorite pieces of the collection, and this the, that's the Mondain. This thing here is a cool watch. I actually have it on an aftermarket Vario strap. And I think it just pairs very well. You've got the SW200 movement in this one. And this is just such a fun watch. I love it. I could read the time from across the room. It's just, every time I look down at it, I just smile. And um, huge shout out to uh, Luminox for actually gifting this to the channel. Um, very humbling experience to, uh, to be gifted a watch from a major manufacturer uh, watch brand. Next up, I'm going to show you guys uh, a couple spinnakers I have. Um, these have actually really surprised me in regards to the look of these watches. I think they're really good looking divers. And I'm actually looking for the other one. Um, let's see. There it is. So here we go. The two spinnakers that was gifted to the channel. Um, I just love the look of these watches. Um, the loom on these are really, really awesome. And uh, I love the case shape of this one. This one's got a more cleaner look. You can, and you can even see, look at that. Look at that pop on the, uh, on the dial there. Uh, you've got that AR coating. They use that tried and true NH35 movement in both. I like the way they do the rotors with the blackout, and um, I've been very impressed by the this particular brand. The only uh, negative I have, or one of the few negatives I have of this brand, is the bezel action. Um, using this more, I'm getting used to it, but I still find it to, it's it's just it's too cumbersome for me. And even this one, um, I was able to break it in a little bit more, but you could see it's still tough to spin. Um, Spinning the spinnaker bezels is a challenge, but despite that, I think you're getting a really quality watch, really nice looking designs. Can't say they're completely original, but um, I still like them regardless. This one here, I think probably really sticks out to you guys. This is actually one of uh, a couple of Hamiltons in my collection. This one here is the Navy khaki done in rose gold. You've got three crowns. I have it on a nice red strap, which really just makes it pop. Beautiful exhibition case back. And, um, you know, you've got the GMT function, which is in this 
uh, little date or this little window or this cutout, I should say. And each crown has a function. This one will actually do the handset. This one down here does something different as well. Look at that, changes or does the, uh, basically what an outer bezel will do, but a uh, inner bezel here, um, kind of like a compressor style. And then this one here um, is going to change your uh, time zone to the different uh, parts of the world. So really, really cool watch. They're very unique. So let's move this over and take a look at some more watches here. Um, if you guys wanna take a look at my Breitling and Omega, um, I wanna put the card up above. I did a very thorough uh, look at those particular watches, so definitely check that out. I do have here a Citizen. This is an EcoDrive. I highly recommend EcoDrives. Uh, this one actually uh, has that very unique case. Um, it actually looks like it's bead blasted. Um, not really sure what it is actually, but it is a very nice look. Look at that crown, very easy to read. Unfortunately though, that second hand misses every single tick and marker. But uh, love the leather strap on this and uh, just a really good watch. Orient. Orient, I have two Orients in the collection currently. Look at the electric blue hands, cream dial. One of my favorite, favorite dress watches next to that Tissot Lead Lock Powermatic 80 in my collection. Um, very, just, this is one of the best watches, dress watches you can buy for under $130. It's really, really awesome watch. This is the Bambino, and I also own the Mako right here. Again, another $130 watch. Green, bezel. Um, the downside of these watches is it's non-hackable, okay? Um, but you do get hand winding in this one. Non-hand winding on this one, but you do have to shake it. But at the end of the day, really good looking watch. Really solid movement um, in regards to at least durability. Um, and timekeeping, and um, it's just a fun watch. And I do have this on an aftermarket NATO strap. Um, this one is actually from Milano Strap Company, made in Italy. It's Italian leather right there, guys. All right, what do we got up next? We've got the two DIY watches in my collection. These two are my only two builds in my watch career. They both were fun. And surprisingly, the first one was easier than the second one. Don't ask me why, but uh, usually uh, that doesn't work that way. So, and uh, this is actually the most recent build with the Average Joe Watch Reviews uh, logo on the rotor. This is the Pilot style, really good quality. And I actually have a link in my description down below for the affiliate link for these, for these watches. Lots of fun, makes a perfect gift, and of course your purchase helps to support the channel. So thank you so much to everyone that has done so. Now, Swiss Watch Company. Um, love their watches, and uh, this one here is the Bunker. This is their field watch, and uh, this one is full titanium. And I also own another one of their watches which is their diver as well. Um, the name of it is actually drawn, I'm drawing a blank on it, but this is actually one of their first watches they've released. And it's a big boy, but it's really nicely done. You've got the scalloped bezel, awesome, awesome loom. You got 20 layers of Super Luminova on actually both models and their AR coating is some of the best that you've seen, upper and under the Sapphire Crystal. Um, I actually have this on the super soft Velcro um, band that they do sell on their site, and it does come with, uh, you know, a stock one as well. So there's your SWC. Back to Hamilton. Let me show you the other couple Hamiltons I have. Um, sorry, I'm going out of order here, guys. Just really excited to show you guys my collection here. Um, Obviously, I have this on an aftermarket leather strap. You've got the exhibition case back, your typical Hamilton 80-hour uh, power reserve on this one. 
Um, very similar to the um, Powermatic 80 guys. Um, I don't know if you knew that. And um, awesome, awesome winding action. I mean, super, super easy to wind. Great. Just it's such a pleasure to wind this thing. And um, Hamilton, one of the most biggest bargain uh, Swiss watches you can buy on the market. Uh, and it has a lot of history, 1893 or 1892. Uh, founded in Lancaster, PA, which is actually about four hours from my house. So that is the field watch. And then this one here is also a khaki. So we've got two khakis here. Uh, this khaki here is the chronograph uh, version. Um, the blackout version is actually from the Netflix series. Um, I'm actually drawing a blank on that one. Is it um, uh, Jack Ryan? And um, this one here is just a really, really, again, super awesome movement. You've got the day-day complication. You've got a true chronograph. Again, exhibition case back. This is a beautiful watch. And I actually fit it on the Shark Mesh from Straps Co., the H-Link, and I think it's a perfect pairing. Really nice brushwork on this watch, and um, I just love that Fotina look on the handset, which is, which is like that needle look, uh, the needle handset, and uh, syringe style, I'm sorry, hands. And uh, it's just a really classic looking watch. Love this piece, one of my favorites indeed. Um, then I'm gonna grab you a couple of Casios that I have here. I've got the fishing watch up here. You can see a bunch of fish uh, when it comes time. Obviously at this time there is no fish, but I think that's such a, such a cool feature. You got a moon phase. It just does a lot of things for 20 bucks. Gotta love this watch. Here's another one. This is actually a multiple time zone. I actually have this set to the UK. So right now it is actually um, 1.45 uh, UK time. So that's that one. And I do also have a G-Shock. Where are you, G-Shock? Here you are. This is a custom G-Shock because this actually used to be a white watch. But what, what happened was I actually won this on Instagram and they did a conversion. So now I have the negative display on a black watch and it's just really cool. Definitely hard to read though. But um, when you're outside, which is typically when I wear this watch, it's pretty easy to read. So not a problem there. Then we go into Luminox. This is a really cool watch. Uh, this is the only easy day was yesterday watch. Navy SEAL, you've got the red uh, highlights here. This is a Swiss quartz movement. Um, all blacked out pretty much here. Uh, 60 click solid bezel. And what makes this watch different than the rest is the fact that you have the um, tritium tubes all throughout the watch, um, including the handset and also the pip and the markers. So um, definitely a cool watch, very militant and rugged. Here's a brand new watch I got from a micro brand, a Taros. Cool watch, love the orange pop, very summery. Um, just did a review on this that's coming out very, very soon, so stay tuned on that one. Here's one from Undone, my one and only bronze watch, and also my one and only California dial. This one has the average Joe, actually the old logo before I updated it. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's my first watch, my, I'm sorry, it's my first bronze watch. This has the bi-directional bezel. I just don't wear it, so there you go with that. Actually, here's another Casio. Um, this one doesn't have the crystal anymore because this was actually part of my uh, torture test series. Um, this watch did make it through the torture tests, but it's no longer water resistant and actually one of the pushers um, isn't working anymore. I forget which one it is now, but uh, the watch does work and it did get tortured a lot. So G-Shock is definitely uh, a legit watch. And um, this one actually did beat the F91, as you can see here. This is the collateral damage from that. Um, yes, but I do have this as a souvenir now. I want to put that video up in the card. That was a lot of fun. And um, it actually has become a pretty popular video, so uh, definitely check it out. 
Um, I have actually two Panda dials, one from Dan Henry and this one from Accurist. Now this one's from the UK from a good friend, uh, Adrian Sales from Somewhere in Time. And this one here is actually from Matt Stingray from Rock to Watch. So these are actually two gifts that I've received from fellow YouTubers. And this one is actually on the Vario strap. Love that combination because you do have that blue electric hand on here. Um, just very nice watches. And this one is actually the I Want a Strap sailcloth uh, quick change system here. Two really cool watches. Now I do have a Scoggin in my collection. This is actually a really fun Scoggin. Um, bezel action, super good on this watch. Um, very surprised at, at the quality of this bezel. It's a lot of fun. Um, PVD black. Look at the detail on the back there. Um, it is a quartz movement, but uh, you know, it's just a fun watch, guys. This is something that you'd wear just to the beach and uh, you know, definitely a very, really cool watch. This is actually one of the few Bullivas I actually have left. Uh, this is uh, two o'clock crown position, rose gold indices handset. You've got the open heart design, leather exhibition case back. Really nice looking watch. Very elegant. You've got the gray dial. Actually, one of the few grays that I have. This is the only other gray, I think, dial I have in the collection. So uh, pretty cool, pretty cool watch here. All right, next up is the Q Timex from the 70s Retro. Got that retro look bracelet. Um, got the Snoopy on uh, the six o'clock position. Very retro look, uh, Batman bezel. Water resistance is horrible. You've got that acrylic crystal. Um, specs aren't the greatest on this, but um, it's a really cool watch and um, I don't regret uh, ownership of this watch. And again, thank you to my wife for getting this for me because I love this watch. It's a beautiful, beautiful timepiece. And speaking of Snoopy, here's another one that she gifted me, which is the green olive dial. Uh, Timex Marlin with again Snoopy at the six o'clock position. I have this one on an aftermarket Straps Co. strap here. And uh, again, just bare basics. Um, actually, surprisingly, um, first of all, I didn't do a review on this one yet, so definitely look forward, uh, looking forward to doing that. But um, just a little bit of a teaser, this actually has a ghost position. So uh, even major brands like Timex give you kind of the parts bin extra movements and they throw it into watches like this and they charge you an abundant price for this. So uh, definitely disappointed with that. But with that being said, still love the watch. We forgive Timex, and I think I need to do a video on why we do that, because uh, maybe it's because they put Snoopy on the dial. Um, probably a big, big factor, but uh, there you go. So I have a sentimental piece here. This is actually the first watch that I was gifted from a watch company, and this is the brand Zampieri. So I've had this now for... I think we're going on two years, if I'm not mistaken. The thinnest watch in my collection at 6.5 millimeters in uh, case width. And it's got a Swiss quartz movement, very elegant, rose gold. It's got a porcelain white dial, which is the whitest dial I have ever seen. And just such a clean, clean design. I really do like this piece. So here's a really cool pocket watch, the traffic signal watch with the sub seconds. From Josh from the Town Watch. Here's the here's the beautiful case back and look at that. This is a beauty. Uh, 17 jewels. Um, it does. It is Swiss made, obviously from Hamilton, and it does have made in Lancaster uh, on the case. So the case back here, Hamilton Company, Lancaster, PA. I thought that was really cool. Um, that's actually where Hamilton started. Got, that's where their roots are from. All right, well, there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the State of the Watch Collection 2021. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays for those that don't celebrate Christmas. And also, Happy New Year to you. I'll see you guys in 2022. 
Have a good one, and always remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other, and I'll see you guys next time, or should I say next year, on Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.